Hey, what's up my friends? We are here with another market update. So let's dive into it. So the biggest news that we've received in the last week is that the CoreLogic numbers, which monitors the housing market appreciation or depreciation for that matter, has shown a 6.9 year over year market appreciation. That came out in January. So that number is from January 22 to January 23. 6.9% is still a super healthy market appreciation, my friends. And if we take that into account and we think about when the market rates were increasing last year and that we still are seeing a 6.9% market appreciation, it's signs of market correction or a healthy market movement, which is super positive. Now, with that being said, the expectation for January 1st to end a month, which hasn't come out yet, is to be about a 0.2 to 0.3 decline or depreciation. Now, that is a super small percentage. It's not a lot, but that's because it's still trying to correct itself and come back down to what is normal and healthy. While January 23's numbers saw a small fall in appreciation, it doesn't mean that that is indicative of where we are going to continue to go. Why? Because we are seeing inflation fall. And we've talked about the fact that when inflation falls, interest rates will fall as well. And as interest rates fall, guess what? The affordability for people becomes easier. There was a survey done in January that further helps us identify where the economy is going. The report surveys 142 top CEOs in the country to identify or help identify where the state of the economy is going and what their comfort level or confidence level is of it. That report actually showed further signs that more CEOs, more companies are actually cutting hours as we've talked about this before, rather than letting people go, which I inherently think is good because that person could still subsidize that income with maybe a partial unemployment, right? Now we don't want that necessarily, but it's better than letting people go and then letting them be another statistic. So next week, Valentine's week, we're going to have CPI report that's going to come out. Again, CPI is a consumer price index. Now that further helps us identify where inflationary numbers are. If the CPI numbers prove to be positive for the purpose of helping lower inflation, that is yet another indicator that the interest rates will continue to fall. Again, as interest rates fall, we're going to get more people off the fence and you as a consumer are going to feel more confident in making the decision. Why? Because that monthly cost is going to go down. So let's recap, my friends. As we previously discussed, as we roll into a recession, which is super expected in 2023, that the expected interest rates are also likely to fall. We've talked about this. I'm going to show a graphic. It's going to be somewhere in here. But take a look at it closely because historically you will see every single recession in history, at least that we've monitored or kept stats on, that every single recession that we have rolled into, that the interest rates have fallen. And out of the recession, they will continue to fall. This isn't me talking just randomly. We're talking about history here. And history will repeat itself. Let's talk about the ripple effect of rolling into a recession. Just real quick on a few variables that are essential takeaways. So with that, if we roll into a recession, what's going to happen? The interest rates are going to fall. As interest rates fall, what then happens? More people feel comfortable about choosing to either sell or buy or sell to buy, right? That's just in the housing market, let alone all the other industries that are associated with the huge impact of the high inflation number. And then the last piece is this, is that with the expected forecast of roughly 3%, it's allowing people to feel more comfortable about listing. And one of the biggest problems that we've talked about for months, if not probably a year or better, is the issue of inventory. But why is inventory an issue right now? Because the interest rates are so high, right? Most people don't wanna sell and get out of a 3% rate to get into a what was a 7% rate and is continuing to fall. Those are some variables that I would take and share with your clients if you haven't already done so. Again, thank you guys so much. And if you could take a quick minute to complete the housing survey and just complete it obviously for your geographical area, take care once again, and we'll catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.